guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy Anna. Nice to meet you. Guys, I finally moved to Ukraine. This is my new bedroom. I'm in my new apartment and it's it's huge. So much to tell you guys. So I've decided to split this into two vlogs. The first one is all about how to get to Ukraine easily. I've been picked up from the airport with Medlink. And then the second vlog will be moving into my accommodation and getting all settled in. By the way, my mum is featured a lot in this vlog as well because she couldn't resist. She really wanted to come and join me. So I really hope this video is going to help you and feel more relaxed about moving to Ukraine. It is such a great opportunity, guys. Okay, so let's move to Ukraine, although I'm already here. Let's go back, rewind. Oh, I'm also sorry. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Yes, please. Guys, where's the camera? Guys, we're on the way to the airport. Mama Zinko. <laughs> it's driving and we just saw snow, guys. I don't know if you can kind of see it out of the window. Anyway, it's been really icy, so we are driving slowly. Don't worry. Yeah, we're going. Finally. Hi, guys. We're at the airport with Mama Zinko. I don't know if you can hear me, but at the airport and it's really quiet. So we're like speaking quiet because it's, it's quiet. It's yeah. And we're really hoping that Mama Zinko can get on the flight. Mum, cross your fingers. <laughs> we're hoping. You guys, this is all my luggage. It's not that much, really. I've done quite well. Mama Zinko bought me a nice Costa. Mum has got like a million magazines. Hashtag freebies. We're finally going to Ukraine. So we're just about to board the flight in London. And we're gonna go to Kiev for our first flight. Hey guys, so we just made it to Kiev and it was difficult at border control. I will tell you later. Okay, here we are in Kiev. But hopefully when you guys come, COVID won't be with us anymore and you won't have to go through the stress. So yeah guys, literally their security. Oh look, it's Mama Zinko. She's okay. Mama Zinko, where are you going? I'm going to Dnipro. Oh, we're going to Dnipro. How are you feeling, Mum? Cutting and I've got a headache. Oh, three three hour flight is too too much. I nearly tripped over them. It's too much for Mama Zinko. Are you going on a bus guys? Guys, uh, we are in Dnipro now, and I accidentally, I accidentally just peed in the toilet. It was bad. So Dnipro Airport is really small, and so you just wait for your luggage on this little conveyor. Okay, you can't really see it. There's a lot of people actually. Mom, how do you feel now we're in Dnipro? Happy. Happy. <laughs> how do you feel, Janae? Yeah, happy. Yeah, happy. Yeah. Shotgun. Oh yeah. Janae picks us up. Very nice. So Janae picks you up. You know, say hi for Mamie. You feeling better, Mum? No. Okay, well, if you do it, then Janae, it <laughs> clearly says, guys, here, do not honk. Janae, if you do that, <laughs> he's not going to. No. Nobody's going to come. Do you want me to get out? Hey, guys, so this is what I look like when I wake up. So yeah, we made it to dinner, bro. Mum's just having a shower. And we're in the light hotel. No, I'm talking to my vlog. How would you hear me? <laughs> so yeah, it was really nice. We went for a um, meal with Medlink. Um, when you arrive, you do get a free meal with Medlink at um, this lovely restaurant. They don't let you starve, don't worry guys. <laughs> and when you arrive, you have to go to the Medlink office. You'll either be registering or picking up your permit, whatever you're doing. And just the thought of you gets you so high, so high. Oh, it's Jason. Let's get up next to you. Let's do a little video around. Guys, look at my friend's room. AZ. Oh, it's like it's meant to be my room, but it's not my room. So sad times. I wanted to tell you about what happened at the airport. <laughs> it was actually so crazy. Basically, to get to Ukraine now, you need to have this app called Vidoma. I'll put a link in the description just in case you have to come. Basically, they want you to already have a Ukrainian SIM card 
or it, it all working the whole app before you get through the border and my mum didn't have it set up or anything well we had the app on the phone they were like you can't come in and we were like no she had to say to a camera like confirm that she was going to definitely buy a sim card and get a covid test the guy was literally so scary i had the woman and so did my friend. So anyway, we got the, got my mum through and I was like proper panicking. I bought us both SIM cards and we got the COVID test. It was just in our throat, not in our nose, which was quite nice because I was expecting it to go out of like there. But guys, it is tense because we haven't got our results yet. You know, there's always a feeling that you could have COVID. So I hope I don't make my next video and say that I have COVID. Like, also guys, as I said, so when you get to the airport, a Medlink will pick you up. You just have to make sure you message them at least two days before so they know and you also have to fill out a form just just putting your flight details and everything in and then they pick you up from the airport and then they'll probably take you to the hotel or they might take you to a restaurant to have a meal or like go to the shop whatever you need to do before you go to your hotel most flights arrive in Ukraine quite late if you're coming from the UK like nine o'clock half nine and then in the morning they'll be pick you up again in the morning and take you to the office to register or pick up your residence don't get a taxi guys get medlink to pick you up shout out to Janaid who is really uh he's a good driver so <laughs> you can trust it so thank you Janaid for picking us up from the airport last time it was Hassan so thank you Hassan as well also shout out to Edmund I don't know why I'm doing loads of shout outs now by the way guys I just remembered I had a dream like, I had a lot of dreams last night Sorry. Guys, I had a dream last night, yeah, but I had a dream that I kissed Jason Derulo and literally it felt so real. So shout out to Jason Derulo too. Little shout out. Guys, we're finally allowed to go out. Yeah, your mum's so happy. Yes, Let's go. Because, wait, we're, we're COVID negative. We finally got our results. Okay, just so you know, it took about 16 hours. Bearing in mind, in Ukrainian time, they said it would be 12 hours. It's actually 20 hours. Oh, it was 20 hours. Yeah. So it was 20 hours instead of 12 hours. So just keep that in mind, guys. But now we are free to go. Mum, what did you just say? <laughs> what have you got, Mum? I've got a medium rest. Oh, very nice. And solid as well. Guys, we've come to my favourite cafe, which is called Dollar. And I'm treating Mum to a lovely meal. On my first ever vlog, I put that this was a building site and now they have completed everything and it's honestly so beautiful. There's a park. It's actually the sweetest park ever. <gasps> it's a little slide, guys. That is like the poshest most luxury slide I've ever seen. Here's something like that. This would take a million years to do in the UK. I've literally been away four months and it's all completed. And guys, that is the end of vlog one. The second vlog will be out as soon as I have time to edit it. So the second vlog is going to be all about moving into my accommodation, city life, buying uh, stuff, setting up my bank account, everything like that. We are going to cover in the second vlog. So don't you worry. That is it for now. Guys, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and also find me on Instagram at Amy and Army. Comment any questions below. But if you do need to contact me, guys, go to my Facebook page also in the link below. Okay, guys. Until next time, see you soon. Bye.